the greatest salespeople in the world persist until they succeed. And the same thing's true with the greatest sales leaders in the world. Help the people they lead persist until they succeed. Great leaders are really good at helping, the, helping their team members, taking them under their wing, and helping them push through in the face of adversity. Now, inevitably in sales, and as you lead your sales team, there's gonna be a ton of rejection that the people you lead are gonna face. And your ability to help them through that will be the determining factor of their success and then therefore your success. One of the best ways to persist in the face of rejection and failure and stress and frustration is to reject thoughts that don't serve you. They're gonna be coming in from everywhere. People that you meet with are gonna tell you no. And they're gonna, some of them are gonna be upset, like, ah, get out of my face, right? You're gonna get messages all the time, all around you, telling you to quit. People saying just, hey, get a real job. <laughs> or, hey, don't bother me again. Or, I don't wanna have to tell you again that I don't wanna see your face. <laughs> And so these messages will bombard us and can and will get us down to the point of bringing us to a screeching halt. Your ability as a leader to help your team rise above and push through and persist until they succeed will be an absolute key to your success as a leader. One of the best ways to persist until you succeed is to reject thoughts that don't serve you. In fact, you wanna reject those thoughts like a bouncer. Like a bouncer would reject somebody who doesn't belong to a club and just like, get those out of there. No, you're not invited here. You're not welcome here. These four words, I reject that thought. I reject that thought. <laughs> In order to persist, despite the opposition and adversity that inevitably will come, we've got to protect our mind. We gotta like hire a bodyguard and put them at the door of our minds. I'm gonna share a secret with you that is one of the best ways to bodyguard your mind. Now I did this personally and I also taught my team to do this one strategy that was a game changer in helping me to persist until I succeeded versus, being, versus quitting when the world told me that I couldn't do it. When I got an overabundance of no's my first two weeks, in sales, I sold zero. <laughs> and this was during the summer, working 10 hours a day, Monday through Saturday, knocking doors, and I sold zero. And so my brain was filled with reasons why I could not succeed. And I learned this one strategy that helped to change everything and allow me to turn the narrative so that I could persist until I succeeded. Because I was persisting, but I wasn't succeeding. And this strategy, I promise will help you if you apply it. So what I did is uh, I, I have this, the magic is in this little black box and I started filling my mind with intentional thoughts and I would have, um, I would have little quotes, little ideas, little tips. Let's see what I, I'm just gonna pull some out here and see, see what comes out. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> Here's a quote. So, hey, I didn't think you, this is, this is like, hey, if somebody's like, I'm not interested, what do, you, what do you say, what do you do? And here's what I would say. And it's, uh, I didn't think you'd be interested and that's why I'm here to talk with you. <laughs> that's exactly why. Most of our very best customers weren't interested, but now they love it and they refer their friends. And I would memorize these thoughts and I would identify things that I'm hearing a lot that I wasn't doing a good job overcoming, things like, I'll think it over. And so I put together some thoughts and I memorize these thoughts on what do I say when somebody's like, I wanna think it over. So rather than having all these just random thoughts clouding my mind and causing doubt and fear, planting intentional thought into your brain is incredibly powerful. Now I wanna share with you a quote that has gone over and over in my mind to help me personally persist until I succeed. And I've taught this to the people that I've led with my teams over the years. And it's, it's, in, it's, in, one of these, it's in one of these cards I had 
um, that I would carry with me until I memorized this thought. I'm going to share with you off, off my memory. I haven't even gone through this in my head in, in uh, several years, but I'm going to share it with you right now. I'm on the spot. Those who cultivate the habit of persistence seem to enjoy insurance against failure. Now, no matter how many times they're defeated, they finally arrive up towards the top of the ladder. And sometimes it appears that there's a hidden guide whose duty is to test us through all sorts of discouraging experiences. Now the hidden guide lets nobody enjoy great accomplishment without first passing the persistence test. Those who cannot take it simply do not make the grade. But those who can take it and keep going and keep persisting and keep pushing until they succeed, they finally arrive and the world cries out, yeah, bravo, yes, we knew you could do it. We knew it, you did it, we knew you could do it. Those who do not persist simply do not make the grade. But those who persist back of rejection and failure, they finally arrive and they learn two things. They learn one first, that whatever it is they're pursuing, they achieve. And second, they learn one of the most valuable keys to success, which is every failure. So we push through, we're persisting, we're falling, but we keep going. Every failure brings with it the seed of an equivalent advantage, a tiny seed that if we plant, we've fallen and we keep going, we persist until we succeed, that tiny seed of failure will grow into a redwood of opportunity in our lives. Having thoughts like this, like that quote I just shared, is a big old long quote, I wrote it out because I had to have that part of my brain. Now for you, you don't need to have some elaborate thing, it could be one sentence, one liner, whatever it is that's gonna inspire you or challenge yourself and, and find a quote that just moves you and memorize it. So to persist until you succeed, reject thoughts that don't serve you and plant intentional thoughts into your brain. Come up with your own little system. Like for me it was, it was let's put some note cards, it's, flashcards in my brain, I'd carry them in my pocket, I'd read them during the day and I'd memorize these thoughts to protect the space behind the eyes and between the ears, the most valuable area of our lives, the area of our mind. So as the legend Og Mandino put it in, in his incredible book, The Greatest Salesman in the World, which I challenge you to read, read it again, read it over and over. I read this with my teens, over and over one chapter, it would take five minutes, and we would read it every morning. We would go through this and plant these thoughts, and one of them is, I will persist until I succeed. The scroll marked three in this book, I will persist until I succeed. And one way to do that is to plant intentional thoughts into your brain and teach the people you lead to do this. Give them a hack, hack your brain, put Put thoughts that serve you at the very forefront of your mind so that when the world is telling you no, you've already hacked your brain and you're telling yourself yes. It starts with one intentional thought, saying I'm gonna plant this in my brain today so that when the world tells me that I can't, I, I don't even hear it because I'm too busy focusing on how I'm going to make it happen. I challenge you to teach every person that you lead to do this, to reject thoughts that don't serve them, plant intentional thoughts into their mind, come up with some sort of system that you adopt. For me, it was flashcards that I would read while I was out in the field selling. Some system that will equip you and equip them with the power of intentional thought. This will help you persist until you succeed, which is one of the greatest keys to put into action to achieve success. Now, if you wanna go deeper with a tool to help you supercharge your ability to lead your team. I invite you to register for the Sales Leadership Masterclass, where I go in deep with all of the principles of, of what I've learned over the years on what it takes to successfully lead your team to the very top. Now with that, make it an incredible day to your success.